Hi everyone, Barry Chandler here from thebarblogger.com and I'm outside the Winking Lizard Tavern. Now the Winking Lizard Tavern is a part of a chain of bars in the Midwest and what they do is they have hundreds of beers from around the world in each bar and what they do is they, they create, I suppose they create a sense of community in their bars which is an amazing thing to do. They create a sense of community and they create a goal for their customers. And the community that they create is a community of like-minded, you know, open-minded drinkers who want to experiment with drinks from around the world. They want to try all the different beers. The goal that they set for their customers is that you should reach a certain target of how many beers or how, how much you should have traveled through the beers around the world in the Winking Lizard. So they'll give you a, they'll give you a checklist. When you say, I, I want to be part of your drinking club or your, your round the world club, we're going, to, we're going to go inside and check it out in a second. I'm going to show you a bit more about it. But they give you a sheet and you can follow that sheet. You tick off each beer as you have them. And when you reach certain goals, you get t-shirts, you get rounds of drinks, you get to bring your friends in for, for meals. There's always a goal in mind. So the Winking Lizard does that very well. They're not looking at the quick buck. They're not looking at how they can take money out of you now. They're looking at how they can take money out of you tomorrow, the next day, six weeks' time, and in two years' time. You know, there are hundreds of beers. To get to the end of it, it's going to take you years. But they don't mind. They've got a, a huge chart on the wall. But look, enough about the descriptions. Let's go in and we'll take a look at it and see more about it. So this is the 2009 World Tour of Beers for the Winking Lizard. And basically, everybody gets... Uh, to mark on the chart how many beers they've drank towards the 100 beers that are on the list. So if you look down here at the bottom, these people have reached their 100 beers. This is a huge list with a lot of people on it. It's so big it extends to another wall. Now how easy would it be to do that in your own business? You know, it's fairly easy. You put up a chart on your wall, you make a menu of the drinks from around the world, and you, you know, you run around the world drinks contest. It's not very difficult to do, so the Winking Lizard does it very well. The next thing that the Winking Lizard does very well is that on all their tables they have, you know, a lot of point of sale material, a lot of information, so you can find out how you can actually uh, take part in their in their. Uh, World Tour of Beers, you can see what they're offering, even a barbecue sauce that you can buy that's the making is a barbecue sauce. I'll give you a quick look here. Okay, so that menu goes through all the beers that are available. There's like 90 beers by the bottle, 15 beers, draft beers. You know, they also have the cocktail menu. There's their winking lizard sauce right there so this is something for you know especially bars in Ireland I want to stress don't have an empty table when somebody sits down and they're waiting for a menu something for them to read like here in the Winking Lizard they can read uh, the World Tour of Beers they can see the cocktail menu they're actually reading about the history of the bar they can buy some of the sauce from the bar it's point of sale it's upselling all the time and if you're not upselling you're just not selling so take a leaf out of the book of the Winking Lizard I'm very impressed with their upsells their point of sale and their reasons that they give their customers to come back if you're a customer here and you're drinking you know, in the World Tour of Beers you've reached 70 or 80 different beers you're going to want to come back to find out is there anybody in the chart who's going to hire me is there somebody with 81, 82 it gives you a reason to come back it gives you a goal creates camaraderie they even have a club for people who reach the 100 beers goal they, can, they get uh, invited to a cocktail party or a beer party where all the 100 uh, beer people can come and drink and hang out together so it's a, it's a social aspect as well as a, you know, a profitable enterprise for the bar so I'm sure there's something you could take from that to apply to your own business today cheers